Hey guys, so today here is my setup. Uh, actually, just recently I added that monitor. That is my parents' 24 inch. Uh, but there's a reason for it. I trade the monitors for now while I get everything set up. Because we're going to be moving today. Uh, I have outgrown this setup. Computers underneath the desk there. I got a UPS and a network uh, switch down there. I got two more power bars over there to hold everything that I have. Um, so that's also been upgraded. Uh, like monitors on the Xbox. I don't usually like doing that, but it was the only way I had space. PS2's kind of shoved in the corner with everything behind it. Um, so yeah, it's... And actually back behind is a mess. Yeah, that's quite the mess. Um, but yeah, that's gonna change. Because like I said, it's moving. I got new place set up that I can be. Um... So I got a laundry basket there to put all the cords in. I'm going to start taking this down. Yeah, this is the other thing that annoys me. My keyboard's on a tray, and then the mouse is over there. I don't like that. That just doesn't work. But yeah, so anyways, this is going to be a quick vlog. I won't take any of the taken down stuff because it's a little crowded in here, and I'm, somebody's going to help me. But uh, downstairs setting up, I will show you guys that. I will time lapse it probably. So anyways, guys, let us begin. <laughs> First surprise of the move is my new case. That's the old one. That is actually going to be the old computer. It'll still be running because I'm not actually taking components out of this one. This one is going to be the old computer and I'm building a whole new computer and it will be inside of this one here. Corsair Obsidian 900D. I've already done an unboxing on it. I will uh, get that edited after that. I'm going to do the move video and then do the review and unboxing. It's a very nice case. I'm excited for it. It's going to look really good, especially where it is. Because it's going to sit there. And there's going to be my monitors. Facing the other way, though. But, yeah, it's going to look really good once I got everything. It's going to be liquid cooled too. So, uh, one correction, when you see the unboxing video, I said that I was going to get powder coated. I actually like how deep of a black it is for the build colors that I'm doing. Because I've decided finally, and... Yeah, it's going to look really good without being uh, powder coated, so I'm just going to leave it at that. So, anyways, I got lots more stuff to move. So, as a size comparison, there's the Xbox One, the Phantom 410, and then the 900D. Yeah, it's a little big, but I'm happy with it, so I can't wait to build in it. It's going to get exciting this summer. Hey guys, so next surprise, you know that 24 and 27 inch monitors I had? Well, I replaced it with this one. I don't even know what size it is, but it's like an old tube TV. Even got the adapter for it. HDMI to auxiliary. Nah, I'm kidding. 327s now. The one underneath the other one is, because it's the older version of it, like this one over there, that's the older version. So, unfortunately, the bezel, like right in here, this part is thicker, same with on the bottom, and the stand is a little bit uh, shorter, so I had to raise it up just a little bit. Uh, it's going to be the one that my Xbox there is connected to. Been dusting stuff and cleaning while I go. Yeah, quite the difference. Even looking in the back, you can see the difference between the two. But yeah, so there's my new setup, my new monitors. I'm looking forward to it. They're all BenQ. This one's GW 2750. These last two are GL 2760H. Uh, I really like them. I did an unboxing video of them, and I will then have a review afterwards too. To t I'm kind of a little bit of a setup because it's kind of tricky setting up dual screens on a TV. So, or sorry, not on TV on a computer for the monitors. It's tricky. So I will show you guys how to do that with proper scaling and everything. Yeah, uh, still lots to clean up because my keyboard's not here yet. The power's not on, anything like that. So I will be back. So finally, most things are set up. I still don't have a chair here because the treadmill's still in the way. I got all the cords connected. I still have to hook up my Xbox, but that'll come later. At least for right now, I have something that I have to write up on my computer. So. Got the UPS there. I do have a power bar 
just for my monitors. And we are going to start them up. And we now have all three monitors. I mean, they're gonna say no cable connected because it's not. But now comes the real test. And we turn this on. Yeah, unfortunately it's blue with a red light in the back. I mean, it gets worse the darker it is. But I think we are doing okay. But let us hope it turns on. I'm guessing that one's going to turn on. Well, I know it posted. Yeah, that one's on. Yeah. I feel. Oh, it is going to be that one. Uh, only worry I'm having. I don't know my mouse lit up. There you go. Keyboard's lit up. That, however, whatever. It's just mic. Um. Or did they all go to sleep? I think all my monitors went to sleep. So I will be back once we fix this and figure out exactly which monitor is going to turn in everything. Because, unfortunately, I think I have something to fix. Hey guys, so we're going to try this again. As you can see, this one is fine. My computer's finally starting up. Um, my problem, actually, yesterday was that that one there is an older monitor. So, like, this one. The one that actually has stuff on it. And it doesn't have the auto-detect for input. So, what's happening was these, these two over here were okay. But that one there didn't realize that there's a computer... Or didn't... It was on DVI instead of HDMI, or sorry, it was on HDMI instead of DVI, um, just because that's how it was set up in my room upstairs was through HDMI. So unfortunately, that meant that it didn't go to my computer boot up process. Um, so always watch for that. Make sure that you're on the right input, and make sure that you know if yours has auto input, because uh, it's actually more important than you think to uh, know. Uh, I also added this. This is a rat's nest. Um, once I get the new computer up and running, I want to completely, but as you can see, I added some flare to my desk. Uh, this side fell off, I see. It usually came around here. Just to, you know, add a little bit of flare to it. There we go. Now it's how I had it. A little bit of a nightlight, I guess you could say. But yeah, got my timer. I use my old 4S. This thing's kind of still a beast. It just doesn't charge all that well. It doesn't hold a charge, but I mean the phone itself. And now my computer's doing this thing where it now goes to the center screen. I don't know why. Yesterday I restarted it, seeing if that would help. And that's how I found out that that was on the wrong signal, because also like this one started up. I'm like, hmm, I wonder. And yeah, I checked it in though. But it's even in right resolution. Uh, I'm going to do another video on how to set up NVIDIA surround and three monitors. Showing you because there's quite a few steps to it. And sometimes it can get confusing. Especially when you go to three screens. But yeah. So anyways, it's all set up now. Got my PS2 controller. PS2 controller is over there. Just because that's where everything reached. Fortunately, there's too little room. Uh, my 360 controller because there's lots of room there. My headset. I got to plug it in every time I want to use it. I got a cable running from my computer down to here to send my my microphone. It's actually plugged in. Keyboard, mouse. Uh, microphone and mouse are plugged into there. Uh, if it gets too laggy, I'll have to find some other way. But my keyboard cord was a little bit too short. So that's why I just put it there. And you can see the 4S charger. Uh, GoPro charger. Little GoPro stand. My speakers. That one's there. Center one. Left side. And I got the right side kind of up there. I wish that one could, the one over there could be more, but unfortunately it can't. Oh, you have the Xbox One controller, like it's a PS2 there. 
there's the sub it's on that and it kind of moves so it actually sounds really cool we've hooked up my phone to the speaker because it's got plugs in the back for doing that ups like that is a rat's nest um i will be doing a rewiring job my computers that there is a box for the internet connection because i got one going to the xbox one to the computer just because our wi-fi is not that great and we got a lot of things all the connections in the back and my two dvis and hdmi the other three are display port which i'm pretty sure they went to all or two hdmis at least on the new graphics card so i make my new computer it's not going to be too bad then we can see back here i got my macbook charger i've got the power bar for the monitors i figure the monitors could all be on the same monitor if i need to i can just turn off that power bar but we're going to go around here now the old tv yeah that's not sticking around for very long got a few cords this cord is actually long enough to reach over to the tv over there so that we can put my xbox there and watch a movie or something if you want to watch blu-ray i plan on getting a new tv as well another hard drives or whatever for taking stuff i got this little contraption here my auxiliary to hdmi i'm using that for doing tapes like home videos we have a couple home videos that we want to uh, put into uh digital computer sitting there that is the hard drive for my games on my xbox one and the xbox one uh, controller the xbox one and my live gamer extreme from Avermedia. uh i'm working on a series of racing and i use this plus my 4s with a auxiliary cord to put the music in the background you guys will see because i can have a mic in and auxiliary in I use my mic on the computer and then use the auxiliary and on that. So there's the back. Yeah. The only thing I don't like about the old monitor is the buttons are on the side. So I like these ones on the back because these ones I can reach around and press. That one I had to kind of do a little bit of a butt out. But yeah, so the back's a little bit messy. I want to do like cable routing and stuff. Like twist ties and just make everything go right. But that gray shelving that you see um it might extend might not we'll have to see so anyways for now that's my setup um to end up this video i will probably show you the chair that i'm going to use for now it's not going to be permanent it's just it's in the way right now elsewhere so i get to use it for a couple days until other than that i get a rocking chair and a chair although i think i'm going to get a better chair but hey guys so the setup is officially complete because i now have the chair here uh, it's extremely comfy but anyways yeah uh don't have the lights plugged in because something else is plugged in over there i can't remember what but there is so got the three scheme monitor set up yeah i've been enjoying it um absolutely love it three screens is awesome here we go keyboard doing white and red the red mouse red headset um so as you can probably guess uh, just gonna go there she is there's my setup uh the one in the back there is gonna be red black and white gonna do that the uh the liquid's probably gonna be red um that's what i have so far set out to do so that'll look i really can't wait because it's gonna look really good uh this one i wish that there wasn't red light in it because it would be really cool all blue but it's not <laughs> my mess of cords Actually, there's another big mess of cords there and there. And there's our just watching TV with the 360. But, and the Wii. Oh, that's something I didn't show. VCR for converting VCR tapes. My PS2 sitting right there. Couldn't see it with the uh, headset saying on it. Yeah, anyways, guys, that's my setup now. Uh, it'll be like this for, well, probably the main screen area is going to be for a while. But uh, yeah, the computer in a few months here, it will be being upgraded and new parts coming in. I don't know. I want to wait until the I find out about the Intel X299 that is rumored to come, as well as the 20 series graphics cards from NVIDIA that have been rumored as well. So yeah, there's lots to find out. Um, and that's what's holding that build up. Uh, that and I haven't started working yet for the summer. Uh, my summer job is basically gonna help me like 
pay for things after this build. Um, so I just want to start my summer job before doing the actual build in that case. Uh, just in case you're wondering, the screensavers on here are the uh, from the wallpaper engine. I just picked a generic sound reactive one. So anyways guys, this has been Shoutout. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next video. Um, should be a Mass Effect one. We'll see. Or it might be a screen unboxing. I don't know if this one's going to be out. It'll be this one and then that screen unboxing. So anyways, guys, take care. I'll see you in the next video.